Hello everyone, this is Andrew Seifert with Heritage Outdoors. <laughs> In today's episode, I would like to go over a few things that I think would be extremely beneficial for your early season success. Bow hunting here in Ohio is literally just right around the corner, September 25th, and I am super stoked. I got all my gear and stuff ready, and I am extremely jealous of all the other states in the U.S. that have already opened up their season. And uh, there's a few people that I follow that has already seen great success already this year, harvesting some great, some great animals and um, one of the things that I feel that they've done and I've, I've done in the past and I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this year. And I know you would be able to take this information and just add this to your playbook, so to speak. And what that is, is just being able to identify the food sources that are located in your area. The food sources that I target um, specifically because I'm hunting a farm. Uh, I want to identify the trails coming in and out of the, the bedding area and the food source. So the food source is going to be your, uh, my goodness, uh, you got your standing corn, you got your soybeans. Uh, we even have an alfalfa and a clover field that's really close. I'm talking like miles and miles and miles and nothing but like good standing farmland um, that have these type of crops. Now, uh, Unfortunately, like when I first started hunting, I didn't have that privilege and all we had was miles and miles of nothing but woods. And uh, for those of you who are in that type of an area where it's, you know, you don't have as many farmland or as much farmland and as much crops in that area, you know, um, you can, you can next year, you know, um, you can plant some food plots or maybe even if you haven't already, you know, you have those in there. But in the meantime, for the early season success, try to pinpoint a congregation, so to speak. Not, I'm not talking like two or three trees. I'm talking like 15, 20, you know, a good amount of white oak trees. Um, for whatever reason, those deer just hone in on those white acorns in the early season as they're falling. And I'm talking like they just come from all around to get to those white acorns. So if you're looking for an early season success tip that's really just going to help you make a successful hunt that's what i have for you today let me know what you use or what type of tactics you use for your early season success feel free to uh either drop a comment or something like that maybe message me if you have my my phone number that type of thing just let me know what you do for your early season success and uh until next time we'll see you and god bless